everybody and welcome to Andrew Rants. That's right, the video series where I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I just bitch and complain about everything that pisses me straight the hell off. And how do I manage to do that? Well, not sanely, that's for damn sure. In fact, I could pretty much give a shrink a run for their money. But I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I bitch and complain about everything that pisses me off anyhow. And when SpongeBob's in the title of my video, you know it ain't gonna be safe for work. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. This is PG-13 Jerry Springer style, folks. Because I am pissed. Now... I know so many people were upset at the whole Super Bowl thing, and I'm not touching that Super Bowl thing because, honestly, it was months ago. Get the hell over it. No, today it's a different topic. Now, I believe, and I have said this multiple times, that SpongeBob SquarePants needs to just go away. We need to put his ass out the pasture. It is way beyond time for SpongeBob to basically say, I'm ready to go away. I thought the death of Seth and Hillenburg would have actually done the series its final conclusion. Look, let's just get this over with. No, apparently it's not good enough. So the person who creates the show dying isn't good enough to stop the show. No, apparently it's not. It's just going to make the show stronger. How much stronger, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Because SpongeBob SquarePants, that little yellow annoying bastard, oh, I love that robot chicken reference, is getting his own prequel spin off series entitled Camp Coral, which has been greenlit by Nickelodeon. Now, this spin off prequel, so to speak, is going to be dealing with a 10 year old SpongeBob as he goes to sleepaway camp at Camp Coral. And it's going to be CG animated. I'll allow you a moment to pick your jaws up off the ground. Because, honestly, the words CG animated and Spongebob, then again, CG animated period, uh, really shouldn't be used, especially when it's used to carry the word Spongebob! Now look, I have said multiple times that Spongebob needs to go away. Nickelodeon needs to pull their head firmly out of their hamster hole, and they need to do this now. Now, happily, Camp Coral is just a working title. Oh, jeez. I'm so hopeful that they changed the title. But Nickelodeon is giving this thing a 13-episode green light. Go for it, make 13 episodes. Let's just keep milking that SpongeBob money cow until it's dry. Well, I think Betsy's officially reached her limit here, folks. Now, look, I know that there are those out there that love SpongeBob. I really do. But here's the thing I hate that little a yellow annoying bastard! For years, for years, the guy has three movies. Three movies, okay? Three! Count them, three movies! You keep dragging him on and on and on! He killed half of Nickelodeon's original lineup to keep his sorry yellow ass on! And yet you keep throwing him more dare time! Almost 90% of Nickelodeon, and I mean about 90%, the remaining 10% of actual Nickelodeon, not Nick at Night, is basically tween stuff or Loud House. A show just to break up the mundaneness that is SpongeBob! That's all we are bombarded with day in and day out. He is the Teen Titans Go of Nickelodeon. Why? Why, for God's sake, do you want to keep dragging this thing further? Put it out of its misery and find something else! I don't understand why you want to keep milking this. Now you're going to do a prequel series. This is basically Camp Laszlo for Nickelodeon. Are you out of your goddamn minds? Camp Laszlo on Cartoon Network had a following. It still has a following. It was a strange show, a you know, I won't deny that, but it has a following. SpongeBob's following has gotten to the point that I think they deserve their own planet in the universe and they can just go live there. 
I have reached my limit with SpongeBob. Every time it's SpongeBob. Now, I won't deny I put up a couple SpongeBob-related GIF images on Twitter because they fit the moment. But I am not a fan of that yellow annoying bastard. I think it's time to put his ass out the pasture. It's time to put him out the stud. He needs to go away. You have so much potential in the world to get a whole new line of shows. And yet, here you are with SpongeBob. Your last clinging remnants to the old era of Nickelodeon. And it's barely even that because the old era of Nickelodeon would have whooped that little yellow bastard's ass, thrown him into the gutter, and walked away like a badass. But no, here we go again. More and more and more we see SpongeBob SquarePants. Ugh, and this is a first ever, first time ever spinoff. Please tell me there's not going to be more of this. SpongeBob and his pals, this is the premise for this, okay? They're going to sleepaway camp, okay? They spend the summer building underwater campfires, catching wild jellyfish, and swimming in Lake Yucky Muck at the craziest camp in the kelp forest, Camp Coral. What the hell? First off, how in the... Do you have fire underwater? This show breaks the laws of physics, bends it over its knee and says, you're gonna take what I'm serving and you're gonna like it, damn it! So we have that. Second off, you're catching jellyfish. SpongeBob does that every freaking day! He wrote probably a freaking blog post on how to catch jellyfish because it's how he does it. It's so much fun! You know, next to how you cook the perfect Krabby Patty without giving away the Krabby Patty secret formula so that Plankton doesn't find out. And the fact that I know this stuff is bugging my mind! This thing has had one massive Christmas special that was Crap-O-Rama Entertainment. It looked like it was a 3GI felt sort of stop-motion bullshit that should have never been made. That was an atrocity to my eyes on the holidays. I like the one Spongebob Christmas one. That's a nice, touchy one. The song gets stuck in my head, but it's a good song. It's one of the few that I actually like from this show. But this, this, is just taking this too damn far. Spongebob has been around for too damn long. But instead of just finally letting him go, letting him out the pasture, and just letting him die, no, we're just going to keep piling it on because we're Nickelodeon. We don't have any other ideas. Yeah, let's take a good look at some of the other ideas you've had that I have basically ripped asunder over the past year or two. Oh, what was it? Um, Rise of the TMNT. Oh, yeah, I ripped that thing a brand new asshole. Not once, but twice. How many freaking uh, tween-centric shows have you had? Look, you struck lightning the first time with Zoe 101 and iCarly. And then you just kept trying to ride the Dan Schneider train on Nickelodeon. And it didn't work out that well the second few times. You want to know why? Because lightning doesn't always strike the same place twice. It's a physical impossibility. The random chance of it actually happening is astronomical. And yet... Here you are again, screwing the pooch. Oh, God. The creative forces, though, behind this have tried CG approaches to the characters' movie, SpongeBob Out, Sponge Out of Water, that 2015 sequel to the successful live-action 2D SpongeBob SquarePants movie, and the third feature film, SpongeBob, It's a Goddamn Wonderful Sponge, slated for release next year from Paramount. Oh, don't pa didn't Paramount make enough money off of their crap-filled movies this year? No, probably not. But Camp Coral, you're doing this, and this is all culminating yet with your freaking 20th anniversary of SpongeBob that you keep shoving down our throats. Not to mention the fact that somebody had to point out to me, because I honestly thought this happened, and I was basically cursing existence as it was. I was trying to book a freaking space shuttle to Pluto because of I thought this actually happened, where you had SpongeBob and Sandy getting married. Now, look, I understand that you're trying to pitch that they all live in a peaceful underwater community, you know, with Plankton being the evil one, Mr. Krabs being the penny pincher, and Squidward being the only normal person on there, because I feel there's no sorry for him, because he's got to live next to SpongeBob! No offense, I probably would have found something that would have eaten him, put it outside the front of my house, and packed him at bay! 
How get a restraining order? That should stop him? Oh, wait, no, probably not. They probably did that in an episode because they're running out of goddamn ideas. How long has SpongeBob been on? 20 years? You cannot tell me you keep having ideas. The Simpsons stay fresh out of all this time because they keep going with what is current and happening in the world. You can't pull that same shit with SpongeBob. How the hell does that work? And still you have SpongeBob grinding out the only spot on Nickelodeon. It's like he's the only goddamn game in town because everything has got to be SpongeBob, SpongeBob, SpongeBob. It's going to come to the point where everybody's going to go to a place called the Nickelodeon Store. It's going to be in a freaking shopping center at a standalone little strip mall. And they're going to be selling everything SpongeBob related. It's going to be SpongeBob underwear, SpongeBob t-shirt, SpongeBob toothpaste, and SpongeBob baby powder. All the while you're going to be listening to I'm Ready, I'm Ready, or the freaking fun song entirely in its opening ways and things that are going to make you go insane the minute you walk in there, but kids are going to be dragging their parents there because they're going to want more Spongebob stuff because that's all they ever have is Spongebob, Spongebob, Spongebob! <sighs> <sighs> this thing should have stopped years ago! Somebody should have put him out of his misery! Seriously, is there nothing out there that could do this? Cartoon Network has their heads firmly planted up their ass or they would have been able to do it years ago. But no, Nickelodeon just continues to do this because their heads are still planted up their hamster holes. And if not just theirs, it's other people's. Then you have other shows that you bring onto your network. That takes up about the other 10% of your freaking time. I'm not counting Nick Jr. since that's a sister station and Nick at Night because I don't count that either. This is square up Nickelodeon shit. And this is what you keep limping to the barn with. 90% of your programming is SpongeBob. Why do you care so much about SpongeBob? The money train on that thing is gonna dry out eventually. It's gonna run out of milk. That cow is going to need to be put the hell down. So just put it out of its misery. It lasted 20 years. I think Betsy deserves to go out the pasture now. But still, you continue with this. I don't care if it's the number one animated series. I don't care if it's translated to 55 languages. I don't care if over in China they can say I'm ready in their own language or if it's said in Korean or Swahili, Botswana, or Australian. I don't care if penguins in the Arctic Circle are watching SpongeBob catch goddamn jellyfish! <sighs> <sighs> so badly who the hell cares it's spongebob it's spongebob who cares and yet you keep dragging this thing out further and further now we're gonna basically rip off of other somewhat successful cartoons that came out during the era of spongebob what's next spongebob's gonna go back to the superhero dig i'd like to see you try that when both mermaid man and barnacle boys voice actors are dead yeah, I know about that. I keep up with the news from time to time. But you, no, 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 no. You're just going to keep going with more SpongeBob stuff, aren't you? Yeah, that's what you're going to do. It's going to be SpongeBob. Heroes go. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. Super SpongeBob. No, I got it. SpongeBob Z. No, 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 no. Even better. Even better. Oh, my God. I never thought I would have figured this one out before. A SpongeBob made for TV movie. SpongeBob, the curse of jellyfish fields. Where it's just SpongeBob on screen jellyfishing for three and a half hours! And still, this is all because you want to do a prequel. I don't care what he was like as a child. I don't care if he went to sleepaway camp. I don't care if he met Mr. Krabs in a dream 50 years prior to his conception by his parents. I don't care if he was there for the founding of Bikini Bottom. I don't care! But let me know in the comment section what you have to think. Do you think a Spongebob prequel series is a good idea? Or do you think this is truly one of the lamest and laziest ideas that Nickelodeon has had in the past, oh, I want to say a good long while? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Rance. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time.